Did I not get all of the things? Oh, this is a room! Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be finishing, hopefully, the death. So we left off on chapter 5. We found the finger. We've gotten the tooth. Taken it to the old man. And now we just have to get the lock of the hair. Okay. The radio was on and now it's not in here. So the only thing I can think of we need to do is be in here. Uh Oh, we go back to our room. Ooh. Okay. Nothing like a bunch of death butterflies. Whoa. I could really use an Ichigo right about now. Seeing as the butterflies are here, I'm assuming it's the Soul Society. I guess it's not. Hello? Oh. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Is this Dion? I didn't hear anything. That's okay. I'll fax you. The new info I got. What? New info. Alright. So we're gonna get some more faxes. I'm covering my six. I don't see anyone. I don't want to see anyone. Alright. A handwritten document faxed by... It doesn't say who it's faxed by. On the night three people died, that night, a young man was found hanged from the, with the daughter of his family in her room. According to the investigation, this young man is the lover of his daughter, and on the night of the crime, he climbed to the, to the second floor to enter the house. Looks as if they wrote. The family asked the, the press not to report this. Oh! Oh, hello. Uh, the guy that you need to talk to about renting, he's downstairs. This, uh, this room is already occupied, ma'am. Okay, we're ready for this. We are ready for this. Yeah, oh, you, I thought you didn't want me in your room. Yeah, you live downstairs. You're the, the crazy mannequin lady. I gotta, oh, he, Okay. Oh my gosh, that sad, that transition from the crying and clicking. Okay, the advice of the shaman. This house is possessed by the death. So the whole family died, if not stopped. This house is possessed by the death. So the whole family died, if not stopped. Many other people living in the house will die. It was the daughter who hated her parents, so she told the two people's names to the death. So the death killed them. The daughter hated her parents. Hmm. During the funeral, the daughter's coffin must be placed separately in a closed room, not parallel to the door. So I have to separate, make sure she's in a different room, or she already is. After the funeral, the daughter's body must be cremated. Then I will hold a ceremony to lock the soul forever so that it will not continue to cause more family members to die. The ashes will be kept in a secret place in this house. Wow. Oh. Hey. Hey, ma'am. Uh. What's, uh. I didn't mean to disturb you. Last I checked, uh. I had a bed in here. But it's it's a coffin now. Yep. Okay. So I'm the my bedroom is where her coffin was placed. Can I have my lighter? Oh, male student toy figurine. Let's pick that up. Surely those are important. Ropes to hang something. Mm. Uh, no. No. The girl? Hey. Hey. Who's jingling? 
None of that jingling. Okay. Oh! It worked! Wait a minute, wait a, wait a, wait a, wait a dang minute. Did I put that there? Pliers, man toy. No. No, not the journal. The unknown? Can I cut something? Can I take something? Can I pick something up? Are these sanity pills? Can I take these pills? No. I'm completely at a loss. So the girl. No girl. The male. Oh, it worked! It, it worked, okay. It was, it was them. Okay. Girl, male, woman, unknown. All right. And you're still just in front of my door. Listen, I don't know what you want from me. I can't. I don't. I can't give you anything. What is? What is it? Hmm. A handful of hair. This is what the old man downstairs needed. This dummy trying to help me. Wait, are you on my side? Are you just antisocial? Then we can probably be friends. You know, you can get on Discord or something. Come here. I'm in class. Oh, steps are loud. This, this has got to be embarrassing. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to fall asleep in class, sir. I haven't been getting a lot of sleep at night. Um, my room is haunted. I heard that your family had an influence to force you along. You know, you know the law. The the student in the school where private matters affect the future of the Okay. Yep, yeah, I'll do better next time. Yep. This is gotta be embarrassing. For shame. That was like the walk of shame. Back to your seat after being called on by the teacher. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go and give this lock of hair to him. Let's go ahead and just walk down this hallway. Everyone's still asleep. This should be everything we have to do, right? Handful of hair. What's up? I found the lock of hair. Let me see. There it is. Finally, I've got everything I need. You know, just go back home, wait for me for a while. I'll call you after work. After work? You work somewhere? I didn't think you left that room. I guess we're gonna just go back upstairs and everything will be fine tomorrow. We're just, uh, we'll just go to sleep. We could all use some sleep right now. Mm-hmm. So we're just gonna... Casually go back upstairs. Nothing to see in that room. Right. We're gonna go in here. No surprises. Right. And we're gonna... Go to sleep. Maybe I need to go use the very bloody bathroom first. It's been so long and I still haven't heard anything from the old man. I have to go check his room out. 
Do we really have to go in his room? He did say to wait on him. Uh, he's probably busy with work or whatever he said that he's got to do. We don't need to disturb him. We're just going to, you know, mess him up. He's not going to be able to perform very well or whatever it is or something. But, you know, maybe he needs some help. We'll, uh, we'll see if he needs uh, some help. I, uh, maybe I need a job. I mean, they say I have a lot of money, but, you know, maybe I don't have enough because I'm staying here. And then we can move. Oh, so it's just open. Okay. Where'd you go, old man? <laughs> that was deafening. Praying to the soul, every day at the time of the rat, you must perform an offering ceremony, ceremony with the following offering. One pig's head, a bowl of pig blood, a plate of white sticky rice, a glass of sticky rice wine. When making offerings, it is necessary to sincerely call the name of the person 100 times who wants to call the soul. However, whether the summoning is successful or not depends on the charm of the caller or the person living in the summoning area. If the charm of the caller or the person living in the summoning area is not suitable, it may anger the ghost and endanger the person. If the necromancy is successful, not only can the ghost be seen, but they can also retrieve the objects they held before they died. A tattered old book. Many pages torn, torn off. Uh... There are too many documents in this room to have to check. I have to check them first. However, there is still a, f a way page to wait. Oh, this is a torn out of the jungle of the journal. All right. However, there is still a way for such terrible criminals to escape the this hell. This is an esoteric method that has been applied by some people, whether it is successful or not, is unknown. But considering the horrors of hellish punishment, they still risk during the ritual. First, the perpetrator needs to get the objects belonging to the body of victims, usually hair, teeth, fingers, or limbs. If they can get them, because the victim passed away, they need perform an ancient summoning ritual. Now this ritual has been lost for a long time. No one knows how to perform it. Okay. After death, only the body is destroyed, but the soul still exists. Depending on the merits of life, that soul can go to heaven, to nirvana, to be reincarnated as a human or an animal or banished to hell. Hell is considered a place of detention and punishment for evil spirits. In Buddhism, hell is divided into 18 levels. The souls are dragged to different levels according to the length and duration of the crime and the severity of the crime. A day in hell is 1,750 years on earth. It takes at least 10,000 years, that is 13.5 billion years, to escape one level to reach another one. Wow. Among those who were exiled to the hells, the most feared were those who, while living, lied to deceive others, causing the separation of other family, people's families or losing their lives. These people will go to the hell of tongue, of tongue ripping. The little devils will open the mouth, then use steel pliers to fold and pull out the tongue, then go to the hell of trees of knives, to be hung on trees made of sharp knives at the end, the soul hell of steamers locked in a cage and steamed then let the cold wind blow through the body. Oh, okay. So he does this to people? I'm not leaving the room. I was just turning on the light. Where are the other documents then? Oh, I found a key. 
The old man keys. There's still one more room in the house that is yet to be opened. Could this be the key to that room? So, so many documents. It's prompting me to find documents, but I don't see any. At least no more than what's been shown to me. Ah, pills. And then the last paper. All right, regarding the death, it has long been known that it is a bird-like animal with a red beak, which tortures and beats the souls late at night, forcing the soul to reveal the name of its father, mother, children, to capture the souls of those people during the night when the loved ones of the death are still in mourning. Therefore, the folk call it Trong Tong, meaning many people in the same family dying at the same time. However, according to the rumors of the ancients, there is a case where the death doesn't need to torture and beat the soul, but the soul still revealed the name of relatives in the house to take revenge for being badly treated by family members. There are also cases where two or more people die in the same place. That is, one person does not reveal anything, but the other person or people died in the same place reveals the name of the person's relatives to revenge. This case is known as killing with a borrowed knife. It is a crime so serious that future generations of this offender may have to suffer retribution or have to atone for past mistakes. Can I leave now? Is there still more to do? What's over here? Nothing? Okay. There's nothing over here. All right. Yep. So I guess we're just gonna go and snoop around in that last room. Cause that man seems to be unfazed in this haunted house. So uh, yeah, we should just definitely snoop around and hit. There's one, what, which room? Which room? Is it not this room? So there's two rooms. Now I'm confused. Did I not get all of the things? Oh, this is a room! <laughs> Old man? Old man? Okay. You know, I could have gone without seeing that, because clearly that did nothing. That did not a single thing. Nothing at all. There is no reason for that. So I guess, which room have we not seen? Is it the one at the very top of the steps? So the last room. Let's, oh, opened a little fast there. Oh look, more mannequins. Are you friends with the one downstairs? She seemed to help me. I hope we're friends. A combination lock? Am I supposed to know this lock? Wait a minute. Do I have something that, that tells me what this is? What? Hondo Kong Koji. What is this even? What? How? What am I supposed to do with... I don't have a code for this. Have I been supposed to be paying attention to a date? Is it a date? No. 1994? Did I drop the papers? Like, what? Maybe I'm supposed to go down here? I'm so lost. I can't read Vietnamese and I'm butchering the language. What is happening? Nothing over here. Nothing I can click on. Nothing in the fridge. Nothing in the tea. Nothing on the fan. It's a whole lot of nothing. 
Nothing in the dryer, nothing in the bathroom, nothing in the sink. Nothing in the mirror. Nothing in the shower. Alright, so, <laughs> I don't know why, and I'm gonna be honest, I had to cheat. I had to look up the code for this because I'd had, I had have no idea what I'm supposed to click on. But the code is 12361. So we're going to go ahead and input this. Six. One. And that wasn't it. You put 21361. There we go, 12361. All right, I also found out that this at the very least isn't the bad ending, but I'm not sure what ending this is. All right. It's so loud. Okay. So it picked up a vase. The music's all of a sudden peaceful. This is the ashes of the girl that died. The one that she killed her family and these are her ashes buried away in the secret place. Honestly, in the daytime, this doesn't look like the worst place to live. I still wouldn't live here. Just, you know, knowing what we know about it. But this isn't the worst place. It's kind of, kind of quaint. Like, it's amazing how much music can just change an atmosphere. Walking into the light. What's on the other side? Freedom. Madam, I brought you back to your parents. Awesome. So, I guess that was the good ending. I think I saw somewhere that there are actually four endings. I can't honestly tell you how to get the good ending, but I think it has something to do with getting the dolls, maybe getting all the papers in that last room or something or another. But this is a really good game. As someone that doesn't actively play horror games or scary games and get others of the such, honestly, a pretty solid game. I definitely think it still needs a little bit of work there's a few points where it, it glitched on us and we couldn't really finish certain puzzles and i'm pretty sure that last part was a glitch because i i was seriously lost i had to look up the code for that last door but five to six dollars on steam glitches aside and is made by a team of three people i say definitely pick it up and try it if you're a fan of horror games but that's all for this video. So if this video made you smile, laugh, or chortle, or chortle at the word chortle, then please leave a like and subscribe because there's gonna be a lot more where that came from. Thanks and goodbye.